lot of the time is going to depend on a couple of factors. One is how prepared is the borrower when he approaches the bank? Uh, did he walk in with a, his business plan with three years of tax returns, financial statements, resumes? If he walks in very prepared, then the bank is going to take, and I can't speak for the financial institutions, but depending on the size of the loan, I would say it's going to take them a week to two weeks to give him a decision. Then it'll come to the SBA, and with us, it'll take uh, five to ten days. So it, it doesn't have an easy answer how long will it take. Some lenders out there that we guarantee for have the authority to commit the SBA on the spot. So we technically don't even see the application. So on those, the only time factor is going to be the time at the bank. So it could go pretty fast. It could go in a week. In those cases where the, the bank can commit on the spot, right. de what does it depend on? The reputation of the bank or does the, it depend the, on the size of the loan? It depends on the bank. The SBA has looked at this bank, this financial institutions, and we have certified them and given them the authority to commit for the SBA. And we do monitor them, we do check them, and of course if they're not following our guidelines there would be the risk of them losing that authority. Mm -hmm. But yes, there are some banks that have that authority mm -hmm. as we speak. In, within Colorado, do you, do you have off the top of your head a listing of those banks that do the most business with the SBA? Um, they, we always publish at our office a list of the top 25 lenders. I don't have the list with me, but I would say off the top of my head, usually the bigger lenders are going to be your larger banks. The, Wells Fargo, Key Bank, Vector Bank, uh, U.S. Bank, Chase Bank. Your larger banks usually do more SBA lending than the smaller banks. However, I would say that the majority of all Colorado banks are eligible and probably are able to do SBA lending. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's always exceptions, but the majority of banks have got an agreement with the SBA.